In this video, we will see SAP production cycle. So in production cycle, from where the requirement come and then up to the finished good, we will see. So next, in this video, if you see, there are two types of the requirement. First is the sales, which is the customer is going to be put for the requirement. That is nothing but the sales. Then forecasting, in forecast, there is a particular product has been manufactured for the future purpose that is nothing but the forecast so two types of the requirement first is the sales and second is the forecast according to the requirement there is the production order create on production order create what it is the based on the requirement the production order has been created in that the availability of the material has been checked availability of machine capacity of machine capacity of labor availability of labor that all checked under the production order create and that production order created and then afterwards it has been sent toward the next step what the next step is production order release so production order release in production order release the actual operation starts and in that the step by step operation of the particular product has been finalized the material issue the material has been issued for the production from the purchase the whatever the raw material is required for the particular finished product for the particular operation that has been issued in this production order release then afterwards machine and labor assignment given in this production order release the machine the what the work is over there for the machine is supposed to take an example of the particular uh, making a dia of 80 for a particular MS of 900 dia. So to remove the material, the what the settings, what the tools are there for the machine. So all that the assignment has been given for that particular machine. Then labor. So for labor, if, if suppose took a gas welding is over there. For the gas welding, there is some particular part. Suppose A part has been fit to the X component. So for the X component, how you should have to put that part, how you should have to weld it, and how you should have to finish it. That assignment given in this production order release. Then next step is confirmation so all the operation has been finished okay the operation of the product on the raw material has been finished and that raw material has been converted into the finished product okay and that finished goods finished product is fulfilling the order which we have made made by the sales or by the forecasting okay that has been finished then next step is coming is finished goods so the finished goods whatever the manufactured whatever the operation done on the raw material that will be go towards the stores and stores will be stored the data in SAP and in the material in stores in the finished goods so like this the five steps like requirement the next step production order create the next step is production order release the next step is confirmation the next step is finished goods like this the production cycle 
is running in SAP PP. In this video, we have seen the five steps in production cycle requirement. There are two types of requirements, sales and forecasting. Production order create based on requirement, availability check of material, machine and labor. Also the capacity checking, production order release, actual operation starts, material issued, machine and labor assignment given, confirmation, operation finished and order finished, then afterwards the finished goods go towards the stores. Like this the production cycle is there.